Hello there. I would like to introduce you to a very unique program here at HKUST. This is the tool degree program in technology and management where undergraduate students earn two bachelor's degree, one in engineering or science and another in business, general business management. This program is for students who are serious about becoming a technology leader or a business leader who is tech savvy. So this is me, I'm Betty Lin here. Um, I'm a full-time faculty teaching faculty and also run the daily operation with a team of very dedicated staff. Um, I bring 25 years of experience from Silicon Valley, R&D and also consulting and running high-tech businesses in this general region. And it is our belief that young people who are passionate about technology and management need to get exposure to real-world challenges as early as possible so that they can apply what they learn in engineering and business to the real world. So we create um, experiential learning opportunities for students uh, working with world leading companies in doing things such as consulting and startup innovation. So here uh, I'm going to show you next a 55 second video on what's DDP. Who is going to define the world tomorrow? Are they tech engineers or business leaders? Only those who can capture the best of both worlds can truly make an impact in the world. The future is about the convergence of technology and business. Think about the many game-changing innovations that we see today. At Dual Degree Program, we are equipped with both engineering and business knowledge. We have the chance to create our own innovations and go on exchange trips. The five-year dual degree program gives us an open mindset to comprehend new happenings. We are ready to maneuver between silos and capture the best of both worlds. So why did we create this program um, as far as 16 years ago? Well, actually, we saw the need already way back then that um, companies who know how to use technology to drive their business are the leading companies. And there is a shortage of supply of such um, leading engineers, scientists, and also who are visionaries and ambitious and, and be able to influence others. And so that's our goal to develop future technology and business leaders. And as you can see in these uh, research, that there is a tremendous gap for tech leaders uh, who can inspire others. And so that's what we created and that's what we've been doing for the last 16 years. I'd like to introduce you to some of the students here and you've already met them in the video. These are not actors, these are real students. And as you can see, they have fun. They really enjoy uh, developing two sides of the brain and um, they are best ambassadors and it's also a very international group. Uh, there's at least seven nationalities here uh, in our cohort. And as a matter of fact, um, there are two brothers here, an older brother who brought his younger brother into the program. So we did some soul searching and to understand what makes a tech leader and what type of students succeed in such a program. And we found that these are the core values. This is the DNA of our students. Firstly, they are passionate. They really are passionate about both technology and business equally. And um, so they enjoy doing a curriculum um, in engineering science and business, running back and forth between two schools and developing two sides of their brain being, and having two mindsets and two skill sets. Next, these are students who are very passionate, who are passionate about doing a job well done with quality. And so we continue to polish such skills by having courses such as case analysis or consulting and behaving, learning to how to solve problems like a professional consultant. Next, impactful. Um, we want our students not only be successful, but really make an impact to the society at large. So we do things like pro bono consulting, we build technology for those who have disability. And next, global view. We believe future leaders have to be, um, to have to embrace different cultures, different um, value system and be flexible. And so we bring them 
around different parts of the world to do innovation startups. And we'll tell you more about that. And finally, with all these skills under the belt, become a leader is very natural. And I'll also dive into a little bit of our annual leadership skills development. So again, uh, our students, they learn tech and management, and for the tech part, they have 11 choices. 10 options of engineering and one option of science in biotech and then in business. So by developing uh, themselves in both sides throughout the whole undergraduate curriculum, they really are true business and tech people. Okay. Uh, next, leadership development. And leadership is something that takes confidence and it, to be developed over time. This is an example of how we develop our students in leadership. Uh, first thing they do when, upon joining this program is we send them to a three-day, two-night uh, leadership survival camp. We throw them to Saigon, they jump in the river, save each other, and have a great time, and also develop friendship because they just came out of high school, they don't know anyone. And we have a lot more programs like this. The good thing about this program is we're also profiling our students' leadership skills. And over the next five years, every year when we meet with them, we build and let give them feedback on their holistic leadership development. Next, a little bit about how we develop our students' professional skills. These are very high value skills in critical thinking, in problem solving, and being able to convince others. And we do this step by step. We start with one-on-one uh, -on -one simple problems, then we do to feasibility study, two to four students, then we do consulting in a larger team, and finally, we do international business plan competitions where our students work with multinational, uh, even graduate students from different uh, universities. So here's an example where we do case problem solving. Uh, students master basic skills such as design thinking, uh, how to write a business plan, how to use MISI framework. Next, um, feasibility studies. We use problem statements uh, proposed by our partners such as um, Swiss Bank, UBS Bank. Um, so our students started getting exposure to technology such as blockchain, AI, machine learning very early on. And they, they also meet people, executives in corporate um, settings. Next, we do consulting uh, because um, I believe consultative problem solving is one of the most cross-industry skills. So every semester, we have a different client and we solve a different problem. No problem is the same. So for example, this year, we're doing Google. And we're giving them strategies to how to do um, offline to online e-commerce for five different industries. Next semester, we are doing um, facade, digital facade for Arab, one of the world leading um, design companies. And they've designed amazing buildings such as IFC and ICC. And our students get to know these companies very well. And they have inside connections at a very young age. And uh, another one is one of our most flagship program. This is the International Business Plan Competition. And it takes place around the world because we collaborate with uh, universities for, from countries such as Germany, United States, and Brazil. And we take turns hosting, so we go to a different location every time. So example here, uh, these are some of the places we have gone. Brazil, Shenzhen, which is a leading location for hardware. Um, Czech Republic, and next month we're going to Brazil again to do assistive technology for the disabled and while having a lot of fun. And work hard, play hard is one of our core values. And making friends around the world uh, and uh, that give them a head start in life. So net net, um, from statistics, it shows that our students not only do well academically, but they have a choice. When you know business and you know technology as well, you have lots of options and you are in demand by the industry. So our students, so whether they study civil engineering or whatever is the background, they actually can go into any industry they want. They can go into investment banking, go into consulting, be a management trainee, or go for advanced degrees overseas. And as you can see, they, they uh, as a matter of fact, they will transition, they will do shift careers uh, throughout their lives. And these are some of the examples here. First one is Jeff. Jeff is from the class of 2015. He chose entrepreneurship right after graduation. And within uh, two years, uh, in 2018, his startup was voted one of the top innovation um, 
companies uh, by Times Magazine. Uh, this is an amazing achievement. And it's because he had a partner from Harvard uh, with an MBA, an older partner. This is another example of our students, Sunny and Jovian. Um, they are computer and double E students and worked in multinational corporations and investment banking. After eight years, they chose to start a switch career and they went to start up. Today, they have uh, the number one uh, chatbot AI company in Hong Kong with lots of company uh, uh, clients already and having a really great time. Here's another example, Swan Lu. She graduated from the class of 2011. Even though her degree was in bio uh, and chem, she chose entre entrepreneurship, which is innovation within the insurance industry. And she led a group to innovate for their insurance companies. And today she's at Harvard studying MBA, uh, sponsored by her company. And my last example here is Shan Shan. Shan Shan is a civil engineer who is very passionate about contributing to the world. So she chose uh, to enter the corporate world, but after gaining some experience and also getting a great degree um, from Cambridge in a master's in environmental policy, she chose to not to join United Nations. But through her employer, she goes to emerging markets such as Philippines and to add value to these uh, developing countries. And, um, and she's having a good time doing what she's passionate about. So finally, if you find the story I've given you to be interesting, please join us. Uh, if you come from an international school or a local Hong Kong school, you can come in and apply using IB, exam scores, or JUPA scores. Please note the deadline and don't miss it. Do aim from the early round because our spots do get filled up rather quickly. Or um, another way, oh, oh yes, specifically about JUPA's admission, um, these are some of the subjects um, and then the basic requirements and the cutoff. So on our website, you will see that there is a formula for how to calculate the admission requirement. So for example, math is times two, English is times two. So you can find out more about it uh, with, on our website. And for the students who haven't decided yet, you can join HKUSD um, by joining one of the schools first, such as engineering, science, wherever, and uh, you don't need to declare yet. And then after uh, one semester, once you've decided, you can come in using your grade point average from your first year and then plus an interview score and then join us in year two. So for more information, you can find out or send us an email or follow us on the social media platforms. So look forward to meeting you. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.